Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. One of the I have not really done a rant video, and I think that I think you guys might enjoy me getting really upset. Now I'm not gonna get totally upset. I'm just disappointed about the um, experience uh, with the game I had so far. Now again, I'd probably the experience would probably be a little bit more fun, if not better. I think with friends with this, because you know they're not gonna abuse this what I'm up to talk about. But nonetheless. Uh, I just picked up Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Now, a couple, there's a, quite a few reasons why. One, you know, it was the best looking um, launch title for the Nintendo 3DS that I've seen. I don't, Steel Diver was way too slow for me I, when I looked at it, and when I played some of it, I just couldn't stand it. It wasn't for me. Uh, the other game that I also got, what the heck is it? Oh. The other game I got, you know, this was, you know, I was getting this anyway. So, what was my last alternative was this game. Ra Raving Rabbids, or Rabbids, uh, Traveling in Time. Uh, that game that's coming out, um, and was it the 10th of April? I'm probably going to be getting that one, because I really like the way it looked. I thought it looked fantastic, so I'm probably going to be definitely snagging that one. I like the side-scrolling elements. On. Anyway, I'm going off topic. But, you know, all the choices I had was this game. And a couple friends here on YouTube are gonna, said they were going to be grabbing this game so we can probably spar up and beat the crap out of each other, you know, have some fun. And, you know, that was not the whole gripe I had with the device. Now, I like the fact that you can go online and, you know, battle people. I think that's cool that it will interrupt you before you jump into a game and say, Hey, a new challenger enters the ring, so you go off and you fight people. And one of the things that really, really, really 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 flawed in this game now people are gonna think this is gonna be whining and crying and complaining but it's more of a disappointment factor because there's no moderation with what this is now with this of course if you guys do not know what they added to this was there's four buttons that are somewhat that fit inside the touchscreen with the uh, Nintendo 3DS they're located down here and what they are are like you know Hadouken the ultra combo which is like a finisher and the super, which is uh, something I believe once you build up enough uh, punches into a person, you can use this attack. So you pretty much use this varied on what character you use. Each one has a specific uh, command that you know activates, and they the character on the fly automatically performs it. However, I think that Capcom should have put a, a little bit of a delay with this because yes, it does white out for a split second, but it goes right back to being able to be used again, which I thought that at least they could have done like a patch update or, you know, tweaked that where it would take like at least two to three seconds so it wouldn't go off quite right away because that can be abused like no other guys. I'm in the middle of playing a match. The first match I had, you know, I'm playing with uh, Ryu, and it's the guy I picked Ken, typically of a choice that anyone who plays online with Super Street Fighter. Anyone who played the console ones on I'm talking about on Mac as I mentioned that. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I'm, I'm going against him, I fight him. He doesn't use a spam. He, I, I think the match is fantastic. You know, it was a pretty good, uh, even match. I kicked his ass out twice. I don't like to brag, but I did pretty good in my first attempt. <laughs> yeah, and then the second fight came up, someone used Guile. Yes, Guile. You know, Guile, you know, he has a sonic boom and that little spin kick there. I totally forgot the name just now. Uh, but the person was rapidly spamming the crap out of it. Now, I know no one modified the game at all. There's no modifications involved. The person just rapidly kept on doing it every one second. It cooled down. Like that one second cooled down, he was right on it again. He jumped right in front of me, kicked me again. Right in front of me, kicked me again with that shit. And it was like rapid, like you would not stop. Then, then when you, I knocked him back, like I got him to half, like a uh, thirty percent health. He jumped all the way back to a certain uh, spot and keep on spamming uh, Sonic Boom on my ass. And I was just like, so you know, the, the the response is to obviously jump towards him and scare him a little bit and just beat the shit out of him accordingly. But again, he kept on doing the spin kicks again. So there was no real strategy involved with this fight. For him, other than, you know, treat me like I'm some sort of mediocre um, arcade sale boss or something in some game. I felt like I was, you know, on the short end of the stick here. I mean, I wasn't using the spam button until, like, a little the second round. Because, like, you know what? Fuck this kid. So I just went, Hadouken! Hadouken! It was became a who-can-do-it-the-fastest competition. It didn't even become a fight anymore. It was just me trying to defend myself by using a bunch of Hadoukens to block his sonic booms. So it took a lot out of the fight. It was just 
straining time because all we were doing is just doing Hadouken, Hadouken, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. That's all I heard. And I had a headache. It wasn't because of the 3D. It was because of that damn Hadouken, Sonic Boom, Hadouken, Sonic Boom. And people thinking I'm whining and crying about that. Try doing that for about 30 seconds straight. You'll want to punch a kitten in the face. Now, that's what I was experiencing with this multiplayer experience. It, it, I can understand the fact people knowing how to do this really fast, you know, knowing the sequence with their fingers, fine. But if you guys are giving, if Capcom's practically giving them a rapid fire button to play on their little D-pad or their, um, on the touch screen, that makes it a no contest. If these kids know how to freaking drink enough Mountain Dew and, uh, Red Bull, then spam these buttons repeatedly in the sequence time, you're not going to get past them if they do this right. And, again, I can understand people doing this generally in the console versions as well, and, you know, practicing to do the commands really quickly. Fine, whatever. If they could do it on an arcade stick slash uh, analog stick and all that crap. You know, as long as they're working for it, they can do whatever the hell they want. But if you're giving them a free range of a button that you can just tap. One, 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 one. Like, at counting one second and pressing it down and doing it over and over and over and over then it becomes redundant and the multiplayer experience doesn't become fun anymore because all you're doing is doing an endurance test of just standing there with Hadouken contest here. Now again, I don't think the multiplayer experience is totally bad once the fight is, you know, played through fairly. You know, we're all just exchanging blows, I lose, I accept that, I win, I accept that too. But no, uh, again, have you guys played with uh, Super Street Fighter 4 uh, 3D Edition yet? If so, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Also, do you think that these tactics are ingenious by Capcom that implement these uh, simple buttons? Or do you think it was a curse in disguise? Either way, what do you guys think down below? Take it easy, folks, and as always, I'll do me more videos soon. Take care, everybody.